WPTV. Hello and welcome back to the Fake News Network, your only source for warm gazpacho recipes. I'm Ligma. And I'm Candice. Our main story tonight, are old people metaversed in technology? More on that later. But first, Ligma, is that French? Uh, no, it's, it's actually Canadian. Interesting. Aren't they holding the annual SawCon this year? Uh, in Canada, yeah. Uh, Steve Jobs is giving a presentation and Imagine Dragons is opening for him. I even read that Wendy's is catering. And they're even handing out a bunch of fitness CDs. Oh, God, I'm so excited I could just bust the gut. Uh, now on to our rapid news. We here at FNN are suing Fox News for their big lie. For decades, their marketing has led the public to believe the biggest propaganda imaginable. But now we've uncovered the truth. Fox News has nothing to do with foxes. The anchors aren't foxes. The stories aren't about foxes. The studio isn't even in a foxhole. And the employees don't get paid in fox currency cool sticks and berries. We believe that this makes Fox News culpable of violating journalistic integrity, and it must be stopped. They can't swipe this under the rug. An investigation into the recent labor shortage shows that it's because adults are making the workplace a schoolyard. People are taking sick leave for being victims of childlike bullying. The finance department called human resources stinky buttheads, and human resources fought back with a stink bomb in the copy machine. Someone started a nasty little rumor that Kelsey likes Johnny, but Johnny gave a stapler to Sally, but Sally doesn't even like Johnny, and Henry really wanted to go to the corporate luncheon with Kelsey, but she thinks he has cooties. And there's an uptick in workplace robberies, with suspicions of Brad taking Joff's tuna sandwich that his mommy made for him. She even cut the crust off and made it into triangles. He was really looking forward to it, too. How will the economy recover? In entertainment news, Peaked in High School Musical has opened on Broadway. The show will include songs such as Prom, The Biggest Night of Our Lives, I Just Did a Keg Stand, and I'm in college, but I still go to high school parties. Am I a predator? The director is former gym teacher Jim T. Chur, who taught at his alma mater directly after graduating. It's a harrowing story about some guy named Chad and his journey through the best four years of his life. The reviews are in. It's definitely a musical, says Entertainment Weekly. A guy on the street called it the biggest waste of $93 I've ever had the displeasure of spending. And what the fuck, says the New York Times. But hey, at least it's not as bad as Musical Chairs, the musical about chairs. It's a work in progress. I know it has potential. I know my musical, Musical Chairs, the musical about chairs, is going to be on Broadway. It's going to win every Tony. No, <laughs> no, no. I don't think Musical Chairs, the musical about chairs, is going to win anything. I mean... I read the script, it just didn't sit right with me. Really? It seems like you were on the edge of your seat watching Musical Chairs, the musical about chairs. You just don't cherish my work. <sighs> we'll be right back after a word from our sponsors with Greek philosopher Bofides. I'm Greek philosopher Bofides, and today we will be talking to our proud sponsors to see just how they feel about how we are spending their money. How do you feel knowing that 80% of your tuition goes to the Fake News Network? What the hell is that? Well, you know, it's a travesty. It explains why so many programs are getting shut down here. The, the Fake News Network? CNN? Ah, uh, one could argue. I think that's a travesty. I think that money could be much better used. What have you gotten out of donating to the Fake News Network? Almost nothing. Well, uh, a lot of sleepless nights, you know? Well, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a proud sponsor of this here uh, Fake News Network. I'm Bergen Mergensen. Um, what can I say? You know, you, you guys just really get rid of money. And uh, I'm, I'm very glad for that, you know? I take part in some legal transactions that are approved by the IRS, and uh, no, no IRS agent need come check it out. I don't see much of it. Honestly, it's just a bunch of trash. Uh, but, you know, I, 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 sometimes I just have a lot of money, cash laying around. Can't, uh, you know, sometimes just can't have it laying around, so you gotta get rid of it, because then you keep it, then taxes are a mess. I think I got in seven diseases that are, two of which are incurable. You guys just get rid of it. 
You know, I'm, I'm glad that you get rid of it. No questions asked, no, you know, interrogations about where it came from, who I stole it, where I got it from, you know, that kind of thing. All right, so thank you. Um, no more questions, please. What was your reason for donating to FNN? I mean, it was just uh, another line on the belt, so. Nothing, I got none. One's man's trash is another man's treasure, and honestly, I had major beef with George Washington, so I'm happy to give all those single dollar bills to the fake news network. We know money's made up anyway. Are you satisfied with the work that FNN is producing? You know, I have really not heard anything from them. Um, I've sent them a ton of emails, uh, a lot of legal letters, and you know, they just haven't got back to me. Sometimes, sometimes it's funny, sometimes it's not. Like right now? Absolutely not. How do you feel knowing that we are the two years in a row IBS award winning best comedy program in the nation? Well, damn, that sounds pretty good. To say the least, I find it hard to believe. I think they should see a doctor if they've had IBS for that long. That sounds about right. I mean, I know our school does a lot of good stuff, so yeah. And our groundbreaking field researchers would like to know, do you eat the burger with or without the peel? The peel? What? The peel? The, the peel? The peel. I'm a vegetarian, does that answer the question? What is this burger? Seeds? No, the peel. So I like to keep the peel on, but I like to slowly push it back further so that I have a little bit of peel at the end to enjoy all of its own. Uh, you know, cow, ground up, uh, veggie burger? I still don't know what the peel is. Wait, do you mean like what they wrap it in? The peel. No, I don't eat the wrapper. <laughs> On to our main story tonight, a local community college is targeting the elderly with a new curriculum that teaches internetiquette. The program opened after a number of local grandparents complained to the Board of Education that their grandchildren were always looking down at those pesky phones. Course offerings include Memology 101, Twitter Lytics, and Emoji Literacy. And that's not all. Blackboard posts are in the form of screenshots of the Notes app. Field trips are vlogs, and every video lecture is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends, one of the biggest mobile role-playing games of 2019, and it's totally free? I mean, currently at almost 10 million. No, 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 no. We're not sponsored by them. Uh, who, who, who are we sponsored by? Um, bounty. Bounty. Quicker pick her up. Okay, right. Bounty, Bounty. Right, right. Got it, got it. Um, anywho, <laughs> classes are also taught by major social media influences. I mean... Are they qualified to teach? Who cares? They're hot! Unsurprisingly, grandparents are struggling to adapt to the new coursework. Influencers just can't seem to connect with the older generations. They're resorting to old people stereotypes to connect with their students, such as knitting, handing out butterscotch, and putting clear plastic covers over the classroom, desks, and chairs, which is clearly conflicting with their curriculum. Here's hoping these senior citizens don't catch senioritis. That's all for this episode of the Fake News Network. Be sure to follow us on FNN at social media, flip those, and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Be sure to tune in next time for more, and as always, I'm lost. And I'm Dee's Nuts. Guys. Thanks for enduring. Hello? You're fine.